Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about gold leaf. We're going to need a few things for that. I have a wood panel. I already pre-primed it. See, it's pretty thin. We're going to need four brushes. Also, we're going to need some adhesive for gold leaf. Masking tape. Very useful tool. Wax paper. GAC 200 by Golden. It's acrylic medium for sealing gold leaf. Acrylic paint, whatever color you want. I have black. A few jars of water. We're actually going to need two. I had three. Paper towels. It's very important. Here's some silver leaf. Look how beautiful and shiny. Well, actually today I'm going to use gold color. It's also gorgeous. So first thing first. We're going to need to put masking tape on the surface. So our wood panel or canvas, whatever you prefer, will not move and stay in place. You don't want to try to hold it with one hand and uh, it's quite annoying so I find this little trick very helpful. So I highly recommend you try it. Push it down. Then I poured some black paint on styrofoam plate it's, use it as my palette it's more helpful that way then i'm gonna wet bristles of my brush very nicely and then tap it on the paper towel it helps to clean brushes afterwards i found it very helpful too it's not gonna help you a lot but definitely ease up the process of cleaning the brushes make it easier I want a little bit of black to come through underneath my gold leaf as little imperfections. It would give this dramatic look and for some reason, in my opinion, white color look like mistakes rather than intentional design. And you can always experiment with different colors under gold leaf to create different effects. Make sure you let your acrylic paint completely dry before you proceed with your gold leaf process. We're ready to use adhesive. It's non-toxic, which is great. It's water-based. I can clean everything with just regular water. And make sure you wet the bristles of the brush like we did with acrylic. It will protect your brush a bit. It will be easier to clean too, but make sure you get rid of all the water. We don't need to dilute the adhesive. We're gonna put adhesive with the little squares. It will be easier to spread around and uh, put a very thin layer. We don't need clumps of adhesive. So gold leaf is amazing technique but there's not that much information about gold leaf and oil painting. At least I didn't find much online and I was researching a lot. So I can say that you have to always think ahead with um, oil painting and gold leaf because you can't really put gold leaf on top of the oil paint. First of all, oil painting dries a really long time can take up to a year and you can't put adhesive uh, for gold leaf on it before it's completely dry also you have to seal the gold leaf and we'll talk about that later um, if you seal it most of the sealers are acrylic based and you can't put acrylic on top of the oil so 
I think um, it's just more convenient and smarter if you just put gold leaf first. See how the blue disappears. That means adhesives start working and this is a very nice uh, option that this adhesive gives you. So anyway, gold leaf uh, should be done before you start the oil painting with all the steps before. That's what I learned and that's what I'm going to stick to. You don't have to do the same as I do, but this is the safest way. That means you have to think ahead for every painting you do. Is it going to be background? Is it going to be part of the painting? Think ahead, plan your paintings, do sketches, and then you'll be able to do gold leaf before you start the oil painting. After adhesive stop being blue, check that if it's sticky, like back of the tape. There's still a little bit blue peeking through, but it's okay. I can already use it. Honestly, it's much faster than if you do wait, like it says on the package, 30 minutes. Honestly, it's like five minutes till it's ready to use. So here's our gold leaf. It's gorgeous. We're gonna use uh, wax paper to pick it up. I found it the most useful way. You just put the um, wax paper shiny side down and um, move your fingers through real fast to make a static so it stick to it. I'm gonna put gold leaf not the normal typical way like people do it. It's a bit boring for me so I put it the other way. And uh, there's a papers in between my gold leaf. I like to keep it underneath. So it looks like a little paper sandwich with gold leaf in the middle. So I keep that paper underneath, see? And then you put the gold leaf where you want it to go and remove the paper from there, slowly. You may break your gold leaf a few times, see, like I did, but it's okay. It's gonna still look pretty even if you break it. I use a little soft cloth uh, to push it in. That's why a pen a little bit better than a canvas because you can't really push hard on canvas without damaging it. And make sure you keep the wax paper between your fingers and the cloth and your gold leaf because it's very delicate and you probably will scratch it real bad so this is your good friend and now I'm gonna try to do some fun with it I'm gonna break pieces of gold leaf and put them randomly and show you how beautiful it looks if you can see the paint underneath uh, in my case it's black acrylic and I think it creates a very pretty random design that um, you can play with there's no limits sometimes I even crush the gold leaf between my fingers and make it dust out of it looks almost like some golden stars it's really pretty this is imitation gold leaf and it's made out of the copper and zinc and as you know it can tarnish after a time by being exposed to the air that's why you have to seal it. I use acrylic medium for that. This is GAC 200. It's lovely. It's non-toxic. There's a lot of toxic uh, different sprays and liquid um, sealers for gold leaf, but uh, I don't have ventilated area and I don't want to deal with masks. So I found this option that works perfect for me and I can paint oil on top with no problem or acrylic if you work on that technique look how pretty so um, acrylic medium that I'm gonna use is water-based and it's uh, made for um, non-porous surfaces like metal or glass will work perfect to seal our gold leaf I'll show you how to do that. Just keep watching. And then I put uh, wax paper on top and just 
push it through real hard so all the gold leaf stays on the surface. And then I use uh, another brush that we have, it has to be dry, and I work through entire surface to get rid of all the excess gold leaf. It's a very messy process and often I do it outside because all that gold will be all over the place. But it's so pretty though. And make sure you have a soft brush even though it's stiff because you may scratch your surface. And as I said before, gold leaf is very delicate. It's easy to damage. And then week after, we're gonna put GAC to 100. This is very important to wait minimum three days. The longer the better for adhesive to completely cure. If we seal it too early, it may never happen. The process will stop and it can ruin your project. We're gonna wet the bristles. Tap it on a paper towel. Make sure you tap it very well because gold leaf is a metal and if you have any water um, in your brush um, it will beat up on the surface. And, and I put thin layers and very important thing I have to tell you. You cannot put GIC 200 in a cold environment. It has to be over 73 degrees. Honestly, warmer the better. Because one time I did put it on my project in the cold basement and it was powdered. It got ruined and it ruined my project. So I don't want that to happen to you and I'm sharing this mistakes and tips. I did not read what says on the bottle, which was a mistake. And uh, I gotta be honest with you, I freaked out the first time I put this... Uh, medium on my gold leaf. You see how wide it is and it makes it look weird and tacky um, But don't worry uh, all that Lines and all this whiteness will disappear while it dries You can speed up it a bit with a low level of warm hair dryer if you don't want to wait or do it in a very warm room um, And between each layer I just put the brush in the water just so it doesn't dry and then I put two more coats. Honestly, three, four coats is a perfect because I don't use any other sealer. I don't use any toxic stuff. So yeah, I put three layers of that on my surface. The final and very important thing I have to tell you is that GAC 200 dries really long time. It takes up to two, three weeks for that to completely cure but it's worth of waiting. This is the final result. Look how beautiful and shiny that is. I love this material so much. I hope my video was helpful for you and I show all the tips and tricks that I use for this material. And I hope you'll try it in your future paintings as well. If you like this video, please leave it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss future videos. Have a nice day. Bye.